everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen and today you're joining me in my bedroom at my parents' house because we're giving it another huge makeover. About two years ago, you saw me transform this room from a hot pink mess to this calm, crisp retreat, which I really, really love, but I'm kind of getting bored of it. It's a little white, a little too white, you might say. So I want to bring back some color into here, switch up the style a little bit, while keeping the furniture, which is kind of a challenge, and re-accessorizing this space. So I'm gonna to totally transform it with a few easy things. Can't wait to see what it's gonna look like at the end. <laughs> but if you already like the way my bedroom looks, I'll link that first video down below so you guys can check out what the paint colors are, how I, you know, did everything, and you can see that transformation first. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. I would say the biggest change that I want to make in here is just changing up the style. And that can be a little more difficult when working with a three-piece matching set that looks very farmhouse. I want to take this room out of the farmhouse style and into something a little bit more mid-century, kind of vintage, boho, a little mix of different things. I would consider this a more practical makeover. I'm working with what I have, making it over, really giving it an update and totally changing up this space. So I wanna do an accent wall over here to bring some color in, change up this furniture, keep some existing pieces and tie together this room with some decorative features. So as I usually do, I head to Pinterest just to really hone in on the style and color options that I wanna go for. And then I create myself a mood board. So this is hopefully Hopefully what my room is going to look like at the end of all this. I like to throw together existing pieces, items I know I can get my hands on to really see what it's going to look like all together. First thing I'm going to be doing in here is actually moving this nightstand into the closet. It's just a little too matchy matchy in here and I want to switch it up. The easiest thing to move out of here is the nightstand. Might as well slide it into there so you can't see it anymore. That way I can add in something different for the nightstands and really recreate this side of the space. white on white and bring some color into this space. We're going to be doing a big arch right over top of the bed. I decided to use the color Ginger Rose and I know if you saw my last makeover on my niece's bedroom, it's pretty similar to the color I chose there. That color was called Mesa Peach. I loved the color of her room so much that I wanted something similar. So I chose Ginger Rose because it's a little bit more saturated, a little less rosy, and kind of has more of a terracotta look to it. So I'm gonna leave my bed where it is right now so I can perfectly draw the shape around the bed frame so it's exactly the way I want it to be, where I want it to be, so we can get started on painting. So to get a perfect arch above my bed, I'm doing two straight lines off of my bed frame. These are six inches off of my bed frame and I leveled them out to make sure that they're straight. And then to do the arch, I'm using a pin, a shoelace, and a pencil. And that is going to really give us a perfect arch around the top. So I found the midpoint between the two taped lines, stretched out my shoelace, tied the pencil to the end, and it creates a perfect arch. To get this edge right here, I'm just gonna be using a small paintbrush like this and just putting some paint on it and hugging the edge like that so I can get a nice straight line all the way down. and I love it. The color, everything about it is so fun. So I highly recommend trying out an arch in any space in your home. Try it out in any color and any size and I think it will add so much detail to your room. Today we have a lot of work to do. I want to give the furniture a makeover. I want to do some DIY projects, Ikea hacks, decorating and really pull this room together. Before we get started with that, I wanna throw my brand new Brooklyn and sheets and duvet cover in the washing machine so I can get them all ready to put on the bed. So thank you so much to Brooklyn and for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited to have new sheets on this bed and make this room look and feel 
brand new again. I knew when I was redoing this room, I also really wanted to redo the bedding because I wanted something that was more high quality, something that felt like a hotel and made this room feel like a better experience. You know what I mean? I like creating rooms that feel and look really good. And I think bedding is the ultimate way to do that. Brooklinen was founded on the idea that everyone should have beautiful, simple home essentials without the luxury markup. So I definitely agree with that. They provide the highest quality and comfortable sheets, bedding, and towels at a more affordable price. They're also providing all of my viewers with a discount of $20 off any order over $100. Just click the link down below in the description box and use my code Kristen McGowan and you'll get $20 off your order. So I wanted something that was like clean and simple and that would, you know, be timeless in here. They let you mix and match over 20 different colors and patterns. And I chose something very crisp and simple, white and cream. I got Brooke Linen's Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle and that's pretty much everything that you need to finish off your bed. It comes with the core sheet set, which is the fitted sheet, the flat sheet and two pillowcases. I picked the cream color to really go off the wall color. Two extra pillowcases. So I picked this in a white just to kind of bring off the white in the curtains and the bundle comes with a duvet cover so I picked the cream as well I really like that I mixed the cream and the white together to really work with my room so instead of buying the pillowcases the duvet cover and the sheets all separately you actually save 25% by doing the hardcore bundle so it's definitely worth it especially since I'm not buying new sheets every year these are really gonna last a long time you can shop online in the comfort of your home mix and match all your different colors and styles so you can definitely customize it for your own space as well these are the Lux Satine sheets. Oh my gosh. Oh, these literally feel like butter. I am so excited to put these on. It says more washes equals more softness. Oh, well then, I'm ready to throw these right in the wash so I can get these on the bed for tonight. As I mentioned, we are keeping the bed in the dresser really just because there's nothing wrong with it. There's not a good enough reason to get rid of it and buy all new stuff. So I wanna take the furniture from farmhouse looking to mid-century. And I think the way of doing that is by incorporating some caning. Caning is so, so popular right now. It's really bringing in that vintage retro vibe, but it's very expensive and pretty hard to get your hands on in Canada. I found a really fun solution that's affordable, removable, and looks just like caning. I found this caning contact paper on Amazon and I think I got the whole roll for like $50. I'm really just gonna be using it on these middle panels to cover up the wood slats and I think that will go a really, really long way. This was so incredibly easy to do. I was shocked. It goes on so well, sticks really well, and you can cut away all the edges to make sure that it fits perfectly in the bed frame. Now I know with traditional cane webbing, you can see through it. So this does not give you that see-through look, but since it is a white background and I have white furniture, I feel like it gives a good enough illusion. And I think it's definitely an upgrade. So it looks really cool. It works really well. I know some people would either love this or hate it, but if you're not too particular about the way it looks, you just want to switch up a piece of furniture, this is an easy way of doing it. If I ever want to change it, I can just remove it so easily and I have my bed set back. I decided to change my handles from upright to upside down and I pretty much did that instead of buying all new handles. I feel like it really changes up the style, lightens up the look and makes it look a little less farmhouse. So I wanna add a lot more of this gold over here and really all around the room. So I'm actually going to be keeping this mirror but spray painting it using the Rust-Oleum Metallic Pure Gold. Now, instead of bringing in two traditional nightstands on either side of the bed, I want to bring in side tables. I feel like that really lightens up the look of the space. They don't take up as much room and really all I needed them for was to put lamps on them. I really like the round shape, the new color to introduce and it just adds some symmetry on either side of the bed. 
If you guys have seen my recent Ikea video, you know I've had my eye on these lamps and this room is a perfect room to use them in. They're very retro, very stylized. The shapes would work perfectly in here, but the only problem is they only come in silver. So I'm also gonna spray paint these bases gold and that way everything will really match. I've made so much progress today it honestly doesn't even feel like I'm in my own room so this is all working and this is looking really really cool the last thing I want to do before it gets dark outside and I'm gonna lose light is bring in a rug look how beautiful this rug is I just want to give you a little sneak peek before you see it on the floor it has that nice orangey pink color it's bringing in some blues I got this on sale on I think it was all modern I'll link it down below it's really on sale right now and I got it really quick I think it shipped in like a day and it's really thin so it's not gonna add like a huge thickness on top of my already existing carpet. It's gonna go down, lay really flat, and just add this nice pattern to the floor space. So it's the third and final day of this makeover. We've done so many changes so far and today we're really gonna tie it all together with some decor pieces and finishing touches. So usually the last day is my favorite day because I can really see it all come together and it just makes me so excited. Let's bring in some finishing touches and bring this room together. Okay, this is so exciting. I'm finally done decorating. I can't wait to show you guys what this room looks like because I'm blown away. Like I didn't know it was gonna look this different and this cool and this cute. It literally looks like a boho wonderland in here and I'm obsessed with this. So I hope you guys love it just as much as I do. It's so cool, but anyways, before I show you guys what it looks like, let's think back to what it used to look like. Plain, white, farmhouse not so much personality. Now, check out what my new and improved bedroom looks like now. this room like how cool right it's the exact same room but totally different not even rearranged and it feels like a brand new space I love the colors love all the details all the round soft lines my DIY caning my new bedding like everything 
is perfect. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of my brand new space, what your favorite part is, will you try any of these DIYs? Let me know down below. Also a little bedding update, since I slept in the bed last night, the sheets and the bedding are incredible. They feel so soft and smooth. They're literally like the most comfortable sheets I've ever slept on. So I highly recommend checking out Brooklinen sheets if you're looking for some new bedding. Definitely take advantage of the discount. They're offering you guys $20 off any order over $100 just by clicking the link down below in the description box and use my code Kristen McGowan. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's makeover. It was so much fun to do. Hope it gives you some inspiration for your room or your house. There's so many little DIY projects in here that I definitely think you guys can do as well. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more room makeover, home decor, and DIY videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned on so you never miss those upcoming videos. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!